Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Matt and welcome to a new video on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I think are the best knives in the game. I have a lot of different price ranges and I'm going to be going over all of them. So as you can see, I've made a list right now. So let's go over this list real quick. As you can see, there's a $50 list, a $100 list, $150 list, $200, $300, and last but not least, the big boy baller list, which has insane knives in it. So if you want to go to any specific category of the price range, you can click on them. But if you want to watch the whole video, just go ahead and we'll get right into it. Now, I do want to mention before I get into the list, there's so much skins and there's so many different opinions from people that this is just my opinion on what I think is the best. If you have anything that you think should be different, I can't do anything about it because, hey, this is my list. So the first knife is the Felcher Knife Boreal Forest in field tested condition. This knife goes for $45. The reason why I chose this knife is because of the animation it has. I generally think the Felcher Knife animation is pretty nice because you can like balance it sometimes. And it has like a nice opening, you can flip it around like... It's kind of cool so that's why I picked this one. Now the next knife on this list is the Flip Knife Safari Mash and it goes for a field tested condition for $50. Now the reason I chose this one is because it's just a simple knife and the field tested condition on a flip knife actually does look really good. You barely can see the difference between your factory new and a field tested one so I just think this would be a nice buy for exactly $50. The next knife on the list or I should say knives are the Shadow Dagger Stained in well-worn condition. Now the reason I chose these is because they are exactly $50 and also they are a little bit different from the rest because they are shiny and you know they catch your eye a little bit more and for $50 you can't really complain about it but I personally don't like the Shadow Daggers because of their animation. It makes me feel like I'm some sort of Rocky Balboa or something. But anyway I think for $50 this would be a nice buy. So the second place for the $50 knife goes to the Gut Knife Rust Coat Battle Scarred. The reason why I chose this, and I know it's very controversial because no one actually likes Rust Coats, but I think they're very original and barely anyone has them, so that's why I chose it. It's kind of like, you kind of go like against everybody, it's kind of original because you don't see a lot of Rust Coat knives in the game, and I actually think they do look very nice. So for the best knife on this list, I would have to pick the Huntsman Knife Safari Mesh in field tested condition. Now the reason why I chose this one is because it's exactly $50 as well. And you know, you can't really go wrong with a Huntsman knife for this price. Because I just think the Huntsman knife is very nice for the price. Because it has like a nice animation. It feels like a solid knife instead of the gut knife, like the float knife. They're kind of thinny or something. It, it kind of has like some weird feeling to it. But the Huntsman knife is actually very solid. And yeah, I really like it. So that was the $50 knife list. Let's get on to the $100 list. So for the fifth place, I would have to pick the Bowie Knife Blue Steel in field tested condition. Now the reason why I'm choosing this is because a blue steel is actually very regular. It doesn't look very different from anything else, but it has like a kind of different feeling to it. And it's a Bowie Knife. I mean, come on. The Bowie Knife is just an insane thick, big ass knife. Everyone would be like, whoa, shit, that's a pretty big knife. And you have that shit for $93. Damn. So for the fourth place on the $100 list is the Butterfly Knife Knight Field Tested Condition. Now this knife actually goes for exactly $100 and the reason why I chose this one is because if you have the knife in field tested condition, it actually looks pretty good. And if you get a field tested one with a really nice float, I think it would actually pass as a minimal wear because on the Butterfly Knives, the float doesn't affect as hard as on the other knives. Therefore, a field tested knife would be a very nice knife for exactly $100. The third place for the $100 knife goes to the Flip Knife Brightwater in factory new condition. Actually, factory new. I didn't know this was possible, but this thing is only $79, and this flip knife Brightwater in factory new condition actually is very different from what anyone else has, because I haven't actually seen anyone use this in a game, so if you have this one, you're very unique. It's a new knife from a new collection, so yeah, you already know that's like different from anything else, so that's why I chose this knife. So the second place on this list goes to the flip knife Black Laminate Minimal Wear Condition for $94, and the reason why I chose this knife is because I really like the texture on the Black Laminate knife. It kind of looks like it's sand washed. It kind of has like a, a rough rough look to it and that's why I like it and also this is from a new collection so the chance of anyone else having it in your game is very small so you will definitely have a unique knife whenever you have this knife. So the first place for the $100 knife goes to the M9 Urban Mask Battle Scarred for $84. Now the reason why I chose this knife is because many people call it the poor man's M9 Vanilla and it actually is almost like a vanilla if you get a really bad float on it. Now that might sound weird, the worst float you get on this knife for it being Battle Scarred, the better it actually looks because it makes it look more like an M9 Vanilla and the M9 Vanilla costs around $160 where this knife actually only costs you $84 so it's almost half the price 
for almost the same look. And that's the reason why I chose this knife to be the first place on a $100 category. So that was the $100 list, let's get on to the $150 list. So on the 5th place I've got the Karambit Urban Mask in field test and condition for $126. Now the reason why I chose this knife on the 5th place is because I like the Karambit but I don't really like the skins on it for this price range. So I had to go with the Karambit Urban Mask because it actually does look a little bit more like a vanilla and it also has like a kind of a bright skin to it. I kind of like it but for this price range and this knife you can't really complain. So for the 4th place on this $150 list. List, I've got the flip knife tiger tooth in factory new condition now the reason why I chose this knife I think is pretty obvious it's fleshy as fuck it's very eye-catching and the knife has been around for so long everyone knows it and if you have that knife you're kind of like one of the cool kids I guess so the next knife on the list is actually kind of a funny backstory to it it's the flip knife Doppler phase 2 in factory new condition for $136 now, I chose this one in the phase 2 condition because my favorite color is actually purple. And whenever I found out about the flip knife Doppler in phase 2, this has been my dream knife ever since. And once I got it, I was like the happiest kid ever. So, that's my personal preference for the knife. I just honestly think the purple looks so sick on the knife. And that's why I chose it. The next knife on the list is the M9 Bayonet Damascus Steel in field testing condition for $132. Now, the reason why I chose this one is because the Damascus Steel knives are really flashy. They're very vibrant. They reflect very nicely. And the M9 is obviously a loved knife so that's why I chose this one there are not many other things to it it's just a very simple and clean looking knife so the first place on the $150 knife list goes to the Huntsman Knife Slaughter in minimal wear condition for exactly $150 now the reason why I chose this one is because on the slaughter knives on the Huntsman the flow doesn't really affect that much and you won't see the difference very much between a minimal wear one or a factory new one and of course the slaughter knives just look sick in general and I just really think the Huntsman knife animation is very sick because whenever you're throwing a knife up with the red skin on it it just looks so sick and that's why I chose this one to be the first place for the $150 collection. So that was the $150 collection, now we go over to the $200 collection and we're starting off on the 5th place with a Bowie Knife Slaughter in minimal wear condition for $191. Now as I said before I really like the Bowie Knife because it's just a solid thick as fuck knife and whenever you have a nice skin on it, especially for the slaughter, it just looks so sick because the blade is so fucking big. I don't know, I just really like the skin and the knife. So the 4th place on this list goes to the Karambit Brightwater in field tested condition and the reason why I chose the knife is because I just really fuck with the blue texture on it and of course the field tested condition doesn't even look that bad on the blue water skin and because the knife is only $177 for this price range I think it would be a very nice price for the skin you're getting. Now the third place for the $200 knife on this list goes to the M9 Bayonet Freehand in field tested condition. Now this knife goes for $181 and the reason why I chose this knife is because I really like the purple color as I said purple is my favorite color and it has a cool different set of patterns to it. There's much scribbling and there's not much scribbling as you can see the play set on this knife and the back set of this knife are very very different from each other and of course this is an M9 which I think is the best knife in the game. So for the second place on this list we have the amazing M9 Bayonet Crimson Web for the amazing price of $161 which I think is fairly low for the thing you're getting because this actually looks very nice. I love the black handle and the red top. It just looks so sick and the M9 animation on it just tips it all off. This knife is so amazing because there are so many patterns for it. You can get big webs, no webs, I don't know whatever you prefer. I like the webs a lot but you know you can't ever get what you want. But for $161 this is definitely a really nice knife. Now for the first place on the $200 list is actually a $171 knife. It's the Huntsman Fade in factory new condition. Now the reason why I chose this one is because you can actually buy it for $171 but that does not mean you have a good fade on it. So you have a possibility of getting a really nice fade and overpaying by $29 which makes it up to the max of $200 to get a nice fade on it. And I think for $200 on this knife you can actually get a thick as fuck fade on it but I think a regular fade on this knife looks nice already and that's why I chose it to be the first place for the $200 knife collection. Now let's get on to the $300 knife collection. Now this is the price range you will be looking at whenever you're buying things with keys instead of actual steam money because all these prices are calculated with the average of the steam market values and these knives tend to go over the maximum of what steam offers to sell. So these prices can vary a little bit but without further ado let's get into the 5th place. Now on the 5th place I picked the Karambit Slaughter in field tested condition. Now the reason why I chose this one is because I just love the Karambit and I love the Slaughter. And together they go for $275 which is actually a lot of money but you know you're looking at very expensive knives. And I think this knife is very much worth it for the money you're spending. So let's get on to the 4th place which I have selected the Butterfly Knife Fade Factory New for $240 for. 
And this knife is just an icon. Everyone knows this knife and everyone really loves this knife. I personally think butterfly knives are cool, but the sounds are quite annoying. So that's why I tend to not like them as much as the other knives. But hey, it's a fade butterfly for $240. And because everyone loves it and I kind of like it too, is the reason I put it in this list. The number three spot on this list goes out to the Keramid Black Laminate in minimal air condition. And this bad boy goes for $270 on the steam market. And as I said before, the Black Laminate texture is just so sick. It looks stonewashed or something, sandwashed. It looks like rough or something. It just looks like you're a badass dude with a thick as fuck knife. And that's why I chose it to be in this list. Now for the second place on this list, I chose the M9 Autotronic in battle scar condition for $270. Now the reason why I chose the Autotronic knife is because I really like the vanilla knife, but whenever you have the Autotronic skin, it is like you're a little bit different from the rest. It's like you like the vanilla skin, but you also want something different. So you have the red stuff on it, which I honestly think looks sick. And the reason why I chose this in battle scar is because it fits in the price range and it doesn't actually have a wear on it. It just, the thing with the Autotronic skin is it doesn't really get damaged. It just gets darker and that's why I think it still looks very good in battle scar condition. So for my favorite knife in the $300 price range, I have to give my man the M9 Bayonet Doppler Phase 2 the props because this thing is so beautiful. As I said, I really love the color purple. <laughs> How many times have I said it in this video? But dude, this thing looks so insane. I really fucking love the purple with the black. And, and this thing is $253, which is actually very low for this price list. And actually, I don't know what to say about it. It's just a beautiful knife. And now for the ultimate knife list, on the 5th place we have the M9 Emerald Doppler in factory new condition. Now the reason why I chose this knife is not because I really like the color green, but dude, imagine you entering a lobby with this knife, you showing it off to people, people will like get a heart attack or something. This thing on OP skins is $2000 and that's real money, not even steam money, so... This is a fuck ton of money, guys. So the fourth knife on this list would be the Statrak Factory New Karambit Lore for $1,000. This thing is just so beautiful. The yellow color really brings it out. It's just perfection, I guess. And then Statrak Factory New, you know, just really finishes the knife off. Now, of course, I can't let the Ruby and Sapphire go unheard on this list. So I put them in the third place, the Bayonet Ruby and the Bayonet Sapphire. I put them on the third place in this list and they both go for $850, which I think is still a lot of money. But dude, these things are so nice. It looks like you're having some sort of lightsaber from Star Wars in your hands. And that's why I really like those things. They're just so intense and really eye-catching, of course. Now we're almost at the first place on this list, but of course, first we have the second place, and that is the Statrak M9 Crimson Web in factory new condition, which goes for $9,000, with maybe more than $9,000 on OP skins. It's almost the most expensive knife in the game. I'm not sure about it because there's like case hardened knives, which I don't really like. I don't like case hardened stuff. And this knife is something none of you guys probably watching this video will ever get, and neither will I. This is the dream, dream, dream knife, I guess. Now for the last knife on the list, something you've all been waiting for. I had to go through so much knives to find out whatever the best was and I finally found it. It is of course, you already know, it is the Gut Knife Safari Mesh and Field Tested Condition. Now guys, I don't know whatever the best knife in the game is. So I want you guys to comment down whatever your favorite personal knife is in the comments down below. Let me know whatever your favorite knife is. Of course, if you like this video, leave a like on the video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. And of course guys... Have a nice day, and I'm out. Peace.